friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design, and this is Make and Take Tuesday. This is a little series I do here on my blog each week where I feature a new product, a new paper collection, a new technique, a new tool, a new design, and we make something beautiful together. This week I'm doing a continuation of a tutorial that I shared on Saturday using Spellbinder's new four petal 3D floral embossing folder. This is gorgeous. And in that tutorial, I showed you how to make this beautiful mixed media panel. We also made a card together. So I'll link, I'll put the link to that tutorial up in the corner so that you can find it and follow along. It was a, it was a good one. So I promised at that time that I was going to show you how to make a box and a really cute little decorative gift box. Gift box, little gift boxes are always fun to have on hand. So we're gonna do that today. This is the full size of the embossing folder, which is five and a half by eight and a half. And that's a little bigger than what I wanna make for my box. So because the paper is eight and a half, I'm gonna cut it in half at four and one quarter. And then I'm gonna overlap so that we cut out to five and a half inches. So I'm just going to measure this out, bring in my ruler, and there's five and a half right there. So what I'm going to do is make a little pencil mark right here. And I'm going to trim out with my scissors. These floral bits that are below that line. I'm just going to loosely come along here. I'm just following along the embossed edge of these beautiful flowers. I just don't want to glue the whole batch of them underneath because they're just too pretty to waste. So I'm just doing like this. Now I'm going to bring this in. And I know this looks like a hot mess right now, but you hang with me and uh, you'll see this is going to be beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to take my adhesive I'm going to put adhesive right here and right here and press that down. And you can see it almost disappears like where you've joined that together. And I'm using my Dries Clear adhesive from Art Institute. I really love this stuff. It, um, it just performs. All right. I just want to come in under here and glue this down as well so it's nice and secure. All right, and let me trim out the rest of these flowers and I'll be right back. So you can see I cut these out of this little piece that we trimmed out and now I'm going to show you how we layer these in and we create a beautiful design on our box. So I'm just putting these that have the cut edge down first because we'll cover up that cut edge and then you won't see it. I'm going to put this one right here. And then I save this big one that is just about whole And 
it's going to go right here in the center. And look how that works. That is so cool, you guys. So we've got this great dimensional design. And that glue needs to set up. So while that glue is setting up, we're going to make our box bottom. So I've got a five and a half by five and a half inch panel of the same cardstock that I used over here to do the embossing. And you'll notice that these are the same size, top and bottom. Now, when we make a box, the bottom of the box always has to be slightly smaller than the top. So I'm going to score one inch sides on the bottom of my box. But on the top of my box, I'm gonna go seven eighths of an inch because that's going to make the top of my box just enough larger than the bottom that will have a good fit Kind of have to work it over these little pieces that we will have a good fit um, but it won't be too loose that it falls off and it's a little harder on your embossed panel to do the scoring but just take your time and press in when you get these areas that are a little thicker. Oops. So there's all four sides. And I scored an extra line here. This is how I erase an embossing mistake. Just like that. Okay, now come in with your scissors again. Now we're going to cut the sides of our boxes and I'm coming here where this line is this scored line and I'm cutting up to the horizontal line and then I'm just cutting a little triangle out and I'm going to do this on all four corners okay this one to make sure I'm in the right spot. That one was a little hard to see. I had to go in and mark it. The reason for cutting the little triangle out of the corner is that it's going to help this box corner turn a little more neatly. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing on your card base, on your box base, which is easier because it's plain and you can see it really well. I just finished making 82 of these for our daughter's wedding, and I'll go grab those in a minute and show them to you so you can see them. Well, actually, I can't share them until after the wedding, but I promise I will do something where I share them with you. But if I share them before the wedding, I may get fired as being the mother of the bride. <laughs> so we'll just wait on those. How's that sound? Cleaning that cut up just a little bit. All right, so now we're just going to burnish on all of these fold lines. And you always want to make sure that when you're scoring, the bumpy side of your score is going to be on the inside edge. Um, it just folds better. All right, so there's this one. And we're going to do the same thing here.
we're going to put these together. So I've turned them. Here's the inside. Here's the outside. And we're going to put adhesive on the outside edge of each of these little tabs that we cut. And you can use score tape if you want to. Um, but we're going to turn these in. And you want to line your corners up nice and straight. And then I like to take a little binder clip and just clip it on there. And it will hold it in place so that they dry square. And then we're just going to come in and do the exact same thing with the top. So once again, turn your tabs in. Getting that first corner lined up is the most important thing. It seems like if you get that one right, all the rest are right as well. Okay, so there's the lid, and I can see I need to come in with a little adhesive right here. There's one of our petals that we cut out and added, and I'm just going to press that down. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. All right, so those just corners just need to dry. It takes about five minutes. It's not a big deal, and then we'll come back and we'll work on the next thing. All right, you guys, here is the finished box. Is this not precious? Um, I went ahead and made a belly band for it. I just took it an 11 by two inch piece of paper and marked where to score it. Then I wet this just like we did before, put it through my embossing folder. I did not put any um, special medium on this. I wanted there to be contrast. And I did a belly band for two reasons. One is it helps hold the box securely closed. And two is I got to add like a bow and flowers and this gorgeous Rene Bouquet um, Dreamer Dragonfly. This thing is exquisite. I don't know if you can see all the sparkle, but whoa, it's beautiful. So there's our box. These are um, Amazing Paper Grace flowers from the December 2022 Amazing Paper Grace die of the month, and I just thought they were really sweet. I cut them out of the same card stock and filled them with a mix of different colored prills. Here's our beautiful box top, and honestly, you cannot tell that I cut this apart and pieced it back together again. It's amazing. I put a liner inside the lid just to make it extra special, and then here's our little gift box. So this is a Rene Bouquet Dreamer Key, and I put it into, um, this is the little insert, the note card insert from that Amazing Paper Grace December 2022 Die of the Month. I went into my stash and found this beautiful silver demi tasse spoon, put that in there, and I die cut this sweet little heart charm. And that's what I added the key to. This is with the January um, die of the month. So sweet. And then wrapped up a little tea bag. This is chai tea. Put it inside the folder. And then I made a little circular note card. This is Stamperia Old Lace. And I just die cut one of the circles. Then I die cut my... Um, same card stock, this same card stock. And I, if you leave a little edge at the top where the die hangs over, you can make a note card. So you can write your little note in here. This goes in this little folder. 
this goes in this little folder, this goes in this little folder, and the whole thing goes in this little box. Is this not the sweetest little gift? I mean, and then our top goes on, and then our belly band slips on. And these are tricky. You just have to take your time and be patient. You want it to be snug, but not so tight that you can't move it. So there you go, guys. This is Make and Take Tuesday, another way of using this fabulous 3D four-petal floral embossing folder. That's a lot to say all at the same time after a long day in the studio. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll be back soon with another wonderful project to share with you. So go get your craft on. Bye.